Despite remembering Janet Reno, a memorial was held today in honor of the life of America's first female attorney general. She was nominated by President Bill Clinton, who spoke at today's ceremony. Local 10 News reporter Ian Margle is in the video port with that story. Ian? Yeah, Michael, Janet Reno died just about a month ago after a long battle with Parkinson's. Today she was memorialized in her hometown by the same man who nominated her as the very first female attorney general. I want to thank Bob and Adele for being here today. Family, friends, and even a former president gathered in Kendall to remember Janet Reno, who died last month on November 7th. Welcome to a celebration of life, of a great woman, of her accomplishments, and of the love that she shared with so many of us. Reno made history as the first woman ever to serve as U.S. Attorney General, and current U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch was at the memorial to pay her respects. Driven by her dedication to the rule of law and her unwavering belief in the promise of our country, Janet helped shape the America we know today. President Bill Clinton nominated Reno for Attorney General in 1993. At the time, she was serving as the state attorney for Miami-Dade County. On Sunday, the former president was on hand for the memorial, saying he wouldn't have missed it for the world. She once said that justice is not served when prosecutors cut corners. I don't so he was saying he doesn't believe that she ever cut a corner in her entire life. He also said during that memorial she thought the purpose of public service was to do the right thing in the way that helped the most number of people. Live in the video port, Ian Margle, Local 10 News.